it's shallow. I'm gonna get these babies on. Get your rope. Gotta always have your rope. Da, 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 da. Bowline. The thing about a bowline is you can pull on that as tight as you want and you'll always be able to get this little loop undone and get the knot undone no matter how tight you pull on it. That's the beauty of a bowline. A net probably might want that because you get into some big ones. Rods probably be a good idea too. Oh, caught in a tree. I don't know. I usually don't fish up here until um, later in May, but there's not much happening around Nelson and things are going early this year. So I figured I'd come up here and try. It's not even May yet. Today's an experiment. Oh, she's up to the top of the boots, boys. Thank you, Dodge, for that built-in step, by the way. Saved me a ton of times. Don't let go of the rope. Don't fall into the water. Boat's not in a great position there. Okay, well, here's the other idea. There's probably a ton of you guys out there laughing at me right now. Oh, we should have just done this, should have done that. But this is how I'm gonna do it. And there we go. Shallow launches, I love them. I love shallow launches. They're so much fun. Are you guys having fun? Watching me at the shallow launch? It's actually a great launch when the tide's a bit higher. This tide's real low right now, so. Let's get down there and catch some fish. Beautiful day on the Miramichi River though today. Beautiful day. Okay, here's the troll motor. Pretty big upgrade. Absolutely pumped to use this this weekend. Going on an expedition this weekend, all weekend long. What I will tell you is I will be camping for two nights at a lake I've never been to and fishing for species I've never caught before. Remember to always warm up your engine. I don't think those are bass. Could be smaller ones. I don't want no small ones. Well, doesn't seem to be a lot of fish. Big fish anyways. There's a lot of what I'm assuming is smelt. Here you probably get a black salmon around here at some point. Kind of just want to get on some stripers though. Okay, what am I seeing here? Let's put her on spot lock. Let's try this bucktail. I think I just got hit when I was dropping. Let's get a freaking sand eel out here and see what happens. Sand eel, sand eel. Not putting paint on. Forget it. I don't think there's any bass down there anyways. Pretty sure I just got bit there. Looks like snag the smelt, which definitely could have happened as well. Can you imagine? Do I have to pull up an anchor? Like, oh man. What is going on here? Something's going on over here, I know that. It's only like a foot of water. These birds are into something. Now they're all screwing off. Jeez. That's where I just came from. Big cloud of smelts here. Whoa, look at the. Hard to get. It's funny that there's like not one bass after these smelts. Anyways, moral story is there's no bass around, even though there's lots of smelt. All right, guys, so we tried something new. We went up and tried out Castle, this mill stream area early, and I couldn't find anything. So we're in Nelson again. I trust the old Nelson, my favorite area of the river to fish. Any luck, boys? Or, uh... Uh, a couple of Hey, 
going on? Getting about to get skunked. I was up in Castles, Millstream all day. There's nothing out there. I've only been here about a half an hour, but I haven't got anything yet. No, I didn't even mark any fish up around Millstream or Castles. I just want to catch one fish. Come on, man. One fish. Yeah, I'm gonna go up river now because I'm not gonna get nothing here. Uh, might get something right before dark in Nelson. There we go. Oh, missed him. Oh, okay, we found some fish, guys. There's one. Man, we were struggling today. It's just a little guy, but... They're just small out there. There's a pile of them though. There's a nice one. Yes, sir. There we go. There we go. That's a nice little one. That's a keeper right there. So fish. There's another one. So I searched around all day and uh, this is the first time I've got into fish like literally six hours later. I just went to the wrong places and that's that's the Miramichi River for you and it changes day to day. Where I was today, earlier, that's where all the fish could be tomorrow. There's one. <laughs> Yeah, they're being real weird today. We just clobbered it. That's why we like the barb of hooks. That's what I'm using, guys, just a zoom fluke. Uh, two ounce jig hit. That's it. Worker slow across the bottom. Little pops. I'm in 14 feet of water. Um, that's just where I seen the most fish was 14 feet, so I Played myself in 14 feet and started catching fish. There's another one. <laughs> just nailing them. Boys oh, just started nailing them. That little guy. That's better than no fish, that's for sure. I was struggling earlier. That trolling motor is the answer. Never would have been on these fish like this if I didn't have that trolling motor. Because I can position myself in exactly the depth I want to without screwing around with wind and current and an anchor. Be able to get another one here. Come on. Oh. Oh. Was not 
I just got hit. See, they, they just like hit it real quick. Oh. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, he came off. I'll get you. I'll get you. Maybe the bigger ones are in the deeper water. We could take a little jog over to the left here. Why is it so cold? Why? Oh, come on, I just got a bite. There he is. Ah, yes. Yes, boy. That one's a little nicer. Might be a keeper. Might be. Yo, there he is. Yeah, he's a keeper. He's looking at you guys. Bright bass. Oh, <laughs> there he is. He came back. Oh, <laughs> he's a rambunctious, this guy. Come up. Oh, I think they're getting bigger. Yay, yay, yay. Not used to this anymore. My right arm was jacked. Oh, yeah. i get the net out for this guy. He's a nicer fish. He's a very nice fish. Come on, buddy. Whoa, got you. Yes, sir. We're waiting for something half decent, eh? There you go, bud. There he goes. Back to the dips. I'm going to cast right there because there's a bunch of fish right underneath. Look at that, guys. Look at those fish. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, just dead sticking it. Just dead sticking it. Threw it out there, let's sink the bottom. That was it. They're turning on and they're getting bigger. Oh. Might get a bigger one before it nights out, eh? Might get a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, boy. I love fishing. Fishing is the best thing ever. Oh, 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 oh. I'm using my lighter rod right now, too. It's 3,000 size. Pen. Oh, that's a nicer fish. I'm going to net him, too. Oh, he came off. Oh, no. That's okay. There's more out there. Chilly Willy. There's still fish here. Yes, sir. Yee. Oh, there's a big one rolling through. There's a big one going through. Oh man, he's right under the boat. Oh man, there's some big ones going through. Oh man, come on, it gotta get bit here. Look at the fine air mines. Look at the fine air mines. He'll probably just do this and hook a fish. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. You gotta twitch those lures, boys. You gotta twitch those lures. That's what they like. Woohoo! Oh, 
Oh! Brought up solid. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Just do these stupid erratic things like I did before. And it'll probably end up poking a fish out of it. Yep. You guys see that? Stupid erratic stuff with your rod. Jigging the slack. Jigging the slack, Mr. Wu. Ooh. You like that, didn't you? Oh, okay. There we go. Took her pretty good. That's not hurting that fish for anybody that wants to think it is. We jump into the water that high, going after baits, like, seriously. So both times I just went stupid erratic with the rod. I hooked up immediately. Huh, that's good to know. I don't even know if I'm going to show you guys that. Maybe I figured out, like, the answer to win the Striper Cup. Oh, if you guys didn't know, the Striper Cup is pretty epic this year. Because of COVID, it's all done on your phone. Oh, jeez. Lost him. Son of a gun. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. So, yeah, because of COVID, you couldn't have the live event. So, everything's done through your phone. You take the picture. It's geo tagged we've got like a twenty-six thousand dollar prince craft both mercury motor they've got garmin live scopes chart plotters trolling motor uh amongst other prizes a, a polaris atv it's just 60 bucks to enter jeff wilson's got a really good thing going on this year he figured it out even with all the covid stuff going on he is the man when it comes to stripers and he's half decent at fishing them too. Oh yes sir. Oh oh I was like pulling into a rock man. What is this fish doing? Oh no. Not the trolling motor. Uh he's not even that big. He's just like guy he's got power. He's been working out, man. Whoo! Nice little keeper though. Hey buddy. Goodbye. Loves it. Every time I try to talk about something, I hook up on a fish. Man, I can't talk about anything here today. I should have talked about it when I wasn't catching any fish earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Another little butte. Bip, 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 and somehow came untied. Can you believe that? I don't believe it considering all the fish I just caught on there. Then I get a little tiny one and uh, it comes untied. I don't get it. But I don't know. Whew, she's getting cold, boys. Well, I'm 16 minutes past my limit here. The giants usually come out right before dark, man. Well, I'm so glad I found these fish today. Uh, I was very discouraged. I recently quit smoking cigarettes and that it was not going good. I was ready to just call her a day and give up fishing forever. Uh, not really, but it just goes to show like, just keep your wits about you and keep on trying. And uh, eventually you'll get into some fish. Keep fishing, never stop, as they say. Here's some more erraticness. Jig the slack, he says. Jig the slack. There we go. See, I just did that erratic movement and then just let it drop and let it sit there on the bottom and he came and grabbed it up. Don't go in the motor. Here we go. Oh, you're going way high on me. Whoo. What's this little dude? What if there's a giant out there? I have to beat Matthew's 38.5 centimeters I don't think my uh, reel needs to be greased all right it's getting colder sun's gone down and uh, I want to see my daughter before she goes to bed so all right guys that's a wrap we're here in uh, Nelson right behind Mazda there's some shore fishermen right behind me there there's a boat over there. She's pretty much done for the day though. Sun's gone down. Um, I've had my fill. 
I'm gonna get going home, get ready for the big trip this weekend. Uh, super pumped about that. I can't wait to go down there. Sleeping in the truck for two nights, fishing a lake I've never fished, for species I've never caught. That's what I live for. Um, see you guys there.